everyone welcome to a new video <laughs> today i'm gonna oh god i have to redo this because apparently the 4090 is also this is just a spoiler the 4090 is also affected by this which is you know 490 mobile thank you very much not the desktop one i'm not talking about desktop this is strictly mobile okay very important this is a side note so what am i talking about well i'm gonna let you this very underappreciated reviewer just explain it to you Despite the relatively high average FPS, this laptop and the RTX 4050 seem to have in all games, the frame times often, not always, weren't looking good and the 1% low often went way below what you'd expect. That means that despite high FPS, you might still feel stuttering. Now I'm not one- So basically he's going to talk about that he's not sure if it's driver or whatever. Overall, it is very concerning. So at that point, that's when my attention got you know caught because I saw this very underappreciated viewer who luckily had their notebook before everyone else because as we know the big reviewers don't want to talk about problems they just want to shill and you know make sure that their sponsorship is intact because saying negative stuff about the product could be a problem right <coughs> i'm gonna display one i'm gonna actually um show you one of which which is the tech chap who apparently thinks the performance is great, even though it literally started over 550 times in Forza Horizon 5. I mean, yeah, let that sink in. Imagine saying that it runs so fantastic and great, and then you show this. Over 550 times stuttering in a benchmark. I mean, uh, that just... Uh, uh, I don't know about you, but that just takes away every single credibility, in my opinion, but... People will still believe him, though, because, I mean, it's a big YouTuber. He's always right. That's apparently the mindset. And I'm not even making it up. That's literally an argument I've been thrown at so many times at this point, which is scary to think of. However, now some people might be, you know, a little, you know, some, some, maybe it's just a game. Um, If we look at Rainbow Six Siege, we will notice it's not just Forza Horizon. He actually shows live exemplary on what type of microstatus to expect. So um, here you go. So as you can see, it's stuttering quite a bit, especially the first one. That was actually a pretty huge stutter. Wait, and so we can already see micro stuttering, which is not exactly great now, is it? He still claims it's an amazing laptop, but again, if I pay that amount of money for an RTX 4070 tier uh, notebook, then Okay, laptop. It's very important that laptop and desktop are very different in terms of performance, like very different. But if I pay that amount of money and I get micro starters in a game like Rainbow Six Siege, I'd be pissed. Now, maybe that's just me. Maybe I just have a standard that nobody has. I have no idea because these things will still sell. I, I'm telling you right now, this is still going to sell. Now, I thought it was just the 4050 to the 4070. I did a lot of research. I've seen that multiple models of the RTX 3050 had this lagging issues be it uh, two msi models uh, and two asus models the msi models uh, were the the one that you saw right now with the reviewers and another one with a 85 watt uh, card then the z13 uh, 4050 and uh, asus i believe tough or something i don't know i don't remember the last uh, asus laptop that had the like the exact not model on that but i figured out okay four notebooks all the same micro soldering has to be 4050 then the 4050 is bad then I see this, and I'm like, oh shit. So it's also not, it's not only the 4050, it's also the 4070 now. Which, yeah, not great. So now we know it, it's the 4050 to 4070 uh, range. I made a Reddit post about it, talking about the stuttering. And uh, turns out that also the Razer Blade with the Mini LED, the 4090 also has the micro stuttering. Which has been further confirmed by a reviewer called Gizmos Review. Which essentially means the entirety of the 40 series on the notebook, on the mobile side, is just a train wreck. Every single one of them, if it's a 40 series graphics card, it will have micro stutters. Whether or not it's going to be fixable or not, we don't know yet. Could be an architectural thing, could be cut down too much, whatever. However, um, I guess we're screwed. I guess we're just literally screwed at this point. Uh, personally, I just wouldn't bother buying a 4000 series card notebook. Um, let's see what AMD has going on. I have seen one video about the AMD 7600S. Apparently done very nicely and had no micro starters. But again, it's just one video. It's not a very nice, you know, 
comparison at this point. I have no idea. Because the problem is also, it's very hard to tell because, you know, YouTube videos do smoothen out things a lot. So when you have, let's say you have micro stutters, it will insert, you know, duplicate frames to smoothen it out every time we record gameplay or some or stuff like that. So it's kind of hard to tell. Do research on your own, see what AMD is doing. But if AMD doesn't micro stutters, uh, like doesn't micro stutter, then I would definitely recommend AMD for this generation. Otherwise, if you absolutely need nvidia which some people do some people need intensive cores for productivity load and so on go for the previous series go for deals on the rtx uh, 3000 series you'll be way better off even for gamers you really want stable frames you prefer stable frames without micro stutters over high average frames which are unstable and stutter a lot trust me on this save your money and um there's that nvidia really dropped the ball in this one honestly i um I don't think they're going to be able to fix this with driver issues because I do think this is probably caused by the fact that the VRAM is so much slower compared to the actual GPU. I think the GPU is just too fast. I think if you... I mean, someone should test it at some point because I'm not going to buy the 4000 series. There's no way. I'm not... At least, again, no. This is purely mobile. I have no idea how the desktop variant is going to run. I know for a fact that the desktop 4090 runs absolutely fine. And the 40, 4070 Ti also runs... Actually, I don't know about that one. I know the 4080 runs fine. The 4070 Ti I have not really checked yet. Which could be interesting to look at, because it seems that the 4070 Ti has a much, a much smaller memory bandwidth than the 4080, if I remember correctly. I'll actually have to dig in that one. Just to figure out if my theory about the mem memory bandwidth to GPU speed is actually the deciding factor. Because if it is, then there's no way NVIDIA can fix this. Now I have rambled on too long. Damn it. All right. Whatever the case may be. Don't believe uh, big reviewers at this point. They're all useless. Um, I already had this a lot of times. And this is going to be me rambling on. You can shut off the video. But I sincerely hate big review channels at this point. They're also misleading. They don't talk about problems. I remember the Rock 3. Nobody talked about the color banding issues. It was so blatant. And yet nobody fucking talked about it. Small YouTubers actually had to make videos showing, hey, this is color banding so much. But they those videos don't get seen because they're all buried underneath the huge YouTubers who just shill the hell out of the product and never mention the blatant problems. Which I find really just unsettling. Because who do you who do you turn to at this point? Who do you actually, you know, get sources for? Because I have no idea. I've uh, so far I'm actually happy that and this is gonna be a shout out to the Hubwood. He was just on point. He did very nice research. He showed everything. He shows frame times, which a lot of YouTubers don't. They just show a title and then say, Hey, this is Max Stone runs at th this frame per second. This guy actually shows you how the game runs, the wattage, the frame times. He just does a fantastic job. So I would definitely, I hope he's going to keep doing what he's doing. And uh, he's not going to, you know, fall over to the shield sponsor, you know, trap. And then start, you know, not talking about problems because I'm pretty sure that's what happens with most big reviewers. They just get sponsors and they get to get told that you cannot say, cannot talk about this and this and this. Kind of reminds me of Hardware Unboxed, where Nvidia didn't want to send them because Nvidia forced them or wanted to force them to talk just about ray tracing and not about rest restoration performance, which Hardware Unboxed would la rather want to talk about. It's things like these, right? That really makes it hard for, especially the notebook and smartphone markets market to actually um you know give you reliable information at this point once again i uh, ramble on too much and uh, i apologize for that but um i felt like i really wanted to get it off my chest so yeah hope i'll see you on the next one bye bye